Vulvodynia and vaginismus are both conditions that can affect women's sexual health and well-being, but they are distinct in their symptoms and characteristics. Here are 15 differences between vulvodynia and vaginismus. 1. Definition Vulvodynia Chronic pain or discomfort in the vulvar area, often described as burning, stinging, or rawness. Vaginismus Involuntary muscle spasms in the pelvic floor muscles surrounding the vagina, which can make penetration painful or impossible. 2. Location of pain Vulvodynia Pain is primarily felt in the vulva, which includes the external genitalia. Vaginismus Pain or discomfort is felt deeper inside the vagina due to muscle spasms. 3. Onset Vulvodynia Symptoms can develop gradually over time. Vaginismus Often presents as a sudden onset, particularly during attempts at penetration. 4. Pain triggers Vulvodynia Pain may be constant or triggered by touch, pressure, or friction. Vaginismus Pain is specifically triggered by attempted vaginal penetration, including intercourse, tampon insertion, or a pelvic exam. 5. Muscle involvement Vulvodynia Primarily involves nerve sensitivity and tissue inflammation in the vulvar area. Vaginismus Involves involuntary tightening or spasms of the pelvic floor muscles. 6. Associated symptoms, vulvodynia, may include itching, burning, or irritation in the vulvar area. Vaginismus, often accompanied by anxiety, fear of penetration, and avoidance of sexual intercourse. 7. Diagnosis, vulvodynia, diagnosed based on symptoms, pelvic exam findings, and ruling out other conditions. Vaginismus, diagnosed by physical examination, which may reveal involuntary muscle tightening during attempted insertion. 8. Treatment approach, vulvodynia. Treatment focuses on pain management, which may include topical medications, physical therapy, and lifestyle changes. Vaginismus. Treatment involves pelvic floor physical therapy, counseling, graduated vaginal dilators, and sometimes medications to address anxiety or pain. 9. Psychological factors. Vulvodynia. Psychological factors may contribute to pain perception but are not the primary cause. Vaginismus. Anxiety, fear, or past traumatic experiences often contribute to the muscle spasms and pain. 10. Impact on sexual function. Vulvodynia can impact sexual function due to pain during or after intercourse. Vaginismus often prevents or severely limits penetrative intercourse, impacting sexual relationships. 11. Prevalence. Vulvodynia, relatively common, affecting about 16% of women at some point in their lives. Vaginismus, less common, but prevalence rates vary widely in different studies. 12. Association with other conditions. Vulvodynia can be associated with other chronic pain conditions like fibromyalgia or irritable bowel syndrome. Vaginismus, often associated with anxiety disorders or history of sexual trauma. 13. Response to treatment. Vulvodynia. Response to treatment varies but may improve with a combination of therapies. Vaginismus typically responds well to pelvic floor physical therapy and behavioral interventions. 14. Physical Examination Findings Vulvodynia Physical exam may reveal tenderness or redness in the vulvar area. Vaginismus Physical exam may show involuntary muscle contraction or tightness during attempted vaginal insertion. 15. Long-term Outlook Vulvodynia Symptoms may fluctuate over time. Long-term management focuses on symptom control and improving quality of life. Vaginismus. With appropriate treatment, many women can overcome vaginismus and resume normal sexual function. Understanding these differences can help in seeking appropriate diagnosis and treatment for each condition, as they have distinct approaches despite some overlap in symptoms related to sexual pain. Thank you. Have a nice day.